hello welcome to this video in this video I want to discuss about the squid which is the part of the superconductivity and you know the superconductivity is the state of a metal or uh, the superconducting state and in which the resistivity tends to zero where there is a sharp fall of the resistivity below the critical temperature in 1911 <laughs> common links own was first observed this phenomena the superconductivity and this is a very useful thing to our daily life but there is a main problem of this uh, critical temperature is very low which is uh, which obtain for this low temperature is very expensive that is the problem which can be <coughs> solved by the produce the material with the higher uh, critical temperature material with the uh, this is a research field now it is in this video we want to discuss about the squid squid is the full for short form of the uh, superconducting this is actually nothing but short form of the super conducting super conducting quantum interference interference device right so this is nothing but a device of quantum interference of the semiconducting material sorry superconducting material this is a quantum interference this is nothing but a quantum interference device of the superconducting material if you uh, wants to see the structure actually there is two josephson uh, junction josephson junction you already know about the josephson josephson junction josephson junction here is two josephson junction here one a insulator so this become a josephson junction and here is another Josephson junction uh, like that this is the structure of the squid okay this is the structure of a squid here the input current here the input current is here the input current is I and in that side there is I1 and I2 there is a Josephson junction. This is a Josephson junction. JJ. There is also Josephson junction. 1 and 2. <coughs> okay. In normal, if you uh, have a 2 conductor here, what happens? If we, their flow is I, there is I by 2 and there is I by 2. Very simple. But in case of Josephson junction, if there is a flow of current, that is there is apply a DC voltage, this is the actually AC Josephson junction. This is actually AC Josephson junction. That means you know about the AC Josephson junction where if we apply DC bios, there is a oscillating current flow within the Josephson junction. That's why this due to oscillating current, they are, these two current are not same. These are the defined AC Josephson, Josephson junction. Actually, these are the AC Josephson junction or AC Josephson effect was happened here because of the applying DC voltage source within this circuit clear so there is a phase difference between these two part and between these two part you know about the resistance junction the there is a phase difference now the total current I we can write the total current I is nothing but I1 plus I2 clear so what is the value of i1 i1 is nothing but i0 sine delta 1 and this is for i0 sine delta 2 so what is the value of delta delta is nothing but the theta 2 minus theta 1 delta is nothing but theta 2 minus theta 1 okay 
then here if we apply <coughs> a magnetic field dot this is very teeny magnetic field small magnetic field, very low magnetic field very low magnetic field low magnetic field magnetic field then you know the flux quantization flux quantization flux quantization quantization will be phi is nothing but n into h by 2 you know about the flux quantization the quant <laughs> the flux associated within the superconductor is the uh, multiplier of h by 2e flux side you know this is the uh, value of 2.07 10 to the minus 15 is the constant value of this parameter right so here the delta will be phase difference you know this is nothing but theta 2 minus theta 1 2 n pi and n is nothing but from here you can put 2 pi n is nothing but phi 2 e by h so this can be written as twice e phi by h cross so the delta 1 is the delta 0 minus e phi by h cross this is taken into two part and this is i 0 <coughs> sorry sin delta 0 plus e phi by h cross such that total uh, delta will be like that clear so if we change this so i will be nothing but i 0 as a constant they written as a sin a minus b plus sin a plus b right so this is nothing but sin delta 0 plus e phi by h cross minus no that is no minus this is plus plus sin delta 0 minus e phi by h cross you know the value sin a plus b plus sin a minus b is nothing but 2 sin a cos b so this is sin delta 0 uh, 2 sin a cos b uh, e phi by h cross clear this is the current total current with, within this loop so there is a change in phase change these two current are not equal in case of squid they are different and this current will be changes like that okay so here the if we plot the i versus v no actually this is the this taken as a constant to i0 sin delta 0 and this is cos e phi by h cross okay so from here you can calculate the omega so this is a squid actually by this squid you can measure the very you can measure can measure very small magnetic field magnetic field very small magnetic field can be measured by the by the uh, squid measurement okay and this is also useful for uh, the different arrangements which are in used in the experimental devices okay so that is squid and if we want to draw the current with the magnetic field i1 and n2 versus magnetic field the i1 like that this is a diffracting pattern and i2 i1 and i2 like that 
this is the interfering pattern okay this two uh, that's why this is called the interference quantum interference that why this is called the quantum interference this is used in various di different di instrumental uses that's it you can see this is the images of these two i1 current and i2 current with respect to magnetic field okay this is very low magnetic field and these two current are depends like that okay thank you